underneath the stacks right now and drivers are really going to notice it. The span we're talking about is on I-55 where it crosses the Pearl. They wanted to wait until after the fare starts to work on this long bridge section over the Pearl where traffic can back up on a normal day. Now they're about to take away two lanes on either side for more than two months. It is the section just before or after the stacks on I-55 that will be getting the repair work and drivers know taking two lanes on either side will pose problems. Yeah, I mean, it'd make it hard to get to work, to where I'm from. it make the time longer anyway. Back it up. It's going to make major delays. Tuesday night, MDOT will begin a major bridge overhaul that will shut down two lanes on both the north and southbound lanes of I-55 over the Pearl River beginning Wednesday. That section, just before the stack, sees more than 113,000 vehicles a day, and state highway officials say it has taken a major beating. Contract crews will do the same kind of repair work as was done on the interstate at Lynch Creek back in 2022. Hydro blasters will peel away the top of the roadway. Basically, like a you know, like a um, like your pressure washing, but it's like on a construction scale. So it blasts out all of the asphalt concrete that's on top of that bridge deck, and it goes all the way down to the rebar. Then they check the rebar to see like the shape that it's in. It is no small job, and not one that will be handled overnight like other projects. The simple explanation for that is because it would take much longer to complete. MDOT says it is a 24/7 operation that will take until the end of the year to complete. Over time, the decks have just uh, deteriorated, so we're, we're gonna have to go in there and blast out, essentially hydro blast out the top layer of deck and uh, fix any rebar that needs it underneath there, and then we'll just repave over it uh, and um, smooth it out, and it'll extend the life of the bridge by decades. So tomorrow, they'll start pulling up the striping on the roadway, and then the hard construction and the road uh, closures start Wednesday. They'll use what's called a roto mill to try to grind up as much of that roadway before they bring those hydro blasters in and then try to get away all that bad asphalt. The price tag on this project, by the way, is $24.5 million. We're live tonight on their I-55 and I-20. Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News.